really really short and sweet because a couple of things is happening so <clears throat> um we didn't get a chance to fully um you know do an intro or give you guys a little conversation on what's happening right so we're gonna do that while daddy ellie's driving um so we moved to our location three and a half years ago about to be four years yeah, because Lala's going to be three, so yeah, almost three and a half years. And we just never really, you know, was motivated or, you know, into like really like getting the house together. However, that has changed, okay? So um, at the end of last year, around Thanksgiving time, we started with Erica's room. Erica and Loriella, Erica and Lala, they both share rooms. But of course, you all know Lala sleeps with us still. And we're trying to do that transition. Alexander has his room. And then it's me and Daddy Ellie, right? So we're trying, we're, we're, we are on our house to home journey, right? So, you know, we have the house. We, you know, we're trying to do renovations. You know, we got scammed out of tons and tons of dollars, thousands and thousands of dollars. So we were just like, on pause right so unfortunately life still goes on life still happens so you know you got to pick up the pieces and just move forward and um now we're actually you know getting room by room as you can see from the vlogging that we started early last year you're gonna see a lot of different things transitioning as far as the family room um, where the computer desk is and our biggest project right now is the kitchen yeah. right so our biggest project is the kitchen and um, so I am going to insert the videos from when we started uh, painting Erica's room down to starting to put curtains up in the luxury area like our area and um transitioning the living room into the family area as far as it making it cozy for the kids putting the carpet down certain things so you're gonna see that i'm gonna insert those clips and then moving forward we're just gonna give you guys updates and then you'll be able to see that in the house to home playlist if that makes sense so that's the vision and i'm just sharing that with you because i don't want you guys to be conflu confused about what's going on on the channel but yeah we want you guys to take this journey with us look we sh we're not ashamed of nothing because we know nothing happens before it's time um so as you guys can see i am well bundled up because daddy elliot came out this morning and he was like it's brick city when i say brick that means it's cold so this is not the weather to try to be looking cute in it's just put clothes on put your hat on put your gloves on and let's go so our first stop is actually to home depot i thought i was going to be taken to starbucks to get a caramel frappuccino but your boy just got on the highway and he's going to our first destination so we're going to do a little bit of snippets of that we'll show you guys a little bit of the stuff that we're doing today um, you're gonna see us in another vlog with the same outfit because we're gonna go look at some stuff today and I'm gonna put that in a separate vlog. So, yeah, we're gonna have two vlogs dropping this um, this week. So 
stay tuned for those vlogs. I'm super, super excited about this journey. But enough of me rambling. Babe, do you have something to say? Uh, yeah, I know this I is your favorite. This is your favorite part. But that? You've been waiting to just decorate the house, get the house cozy, and just like, you know, make yeah, the we, house feel uh, like home. Yeah, that's the plan. That was the plan. That's still the plan. So, um, uh, like you said, we lost a lot of money. It's because I didn't take matter of my own hand and just do this thing by myself. Mm -hmm. That's a big truth. You know, so, you know, if you want it done the right way, just like do it by yourself. Do it yourself. You know, and yeah. Yeah, so. And also, do it yourself, but really and truly, don't. When you're spending your money, you can't be afraid to speak up. You want yeah. things a certain way, and it's not getting done that way. You need to be able to speak up effectively and take matters into your own hand. If you have to fire somebody, get rid of them. It's not the end of the world. It, it doesn't matter if you spend your money or not. Even somebody's like doing you a favor. True. If you do me a favor, you. I actually have to tell you, this is the way I want it. Yeah. If you That's true. if you want to do it, just do it. If you don't, let me pay somebody to do that the way I want it to be done. Wow, that's so true. That's so you know, and I, I've been thinking like lately. Listen, uh, let's say if you are on the thirties and the forties, is that just enjoy your life. And do whatever you feel like you want to do whatever make you happy you know because let's say if you want to come with America you you are working and stuff like that they tell you that uh, you have to work for 67 years to be retired right and then the life expectancy is 70 something <laughs> 75 maybe like you literally gonna be probably live 10 years after you retire mm -hmm. <laughs> so you know it's life is too short you know you wake up i was uh tell you lo your, your loved one that you love them and yeah. you know and uh stay away from the negative people negative things you know and keep moving you know we I don't like talking that much. Um, I build like that. I'm kind of like uh, reserve people because I have to uh, play the word in my head like 20,000 times before I, I say it to not offend anybody. Yeah. You know, that's me. You know? I know you don't miss, you don't see me that much. You don't know me that well. Yeah, that's me. And we will see you if possible, uh, not possible, on the next, next vlog, because I know you like to see me more often and <laughs> say stuff. Yep. I got a lot of stuff talk, I don't talk, say. Talk, talk, you talk. Know, I got a lot of stuff I don't say, I would not say, but if you ask some questions. You'll definitely get an answer. Yeah. The other day somebody was asking me questions about, about my thing. <laughs> About what thing? My wings. Your ring? Yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be in another vlog. If you really want to know about Daddy Ellie's ring and why he has that ring and what is that on his finger, uh, comment down below. I mean, it's gonna be up to him if he's willing to share. And then I'm sure if he's willing to share, you will know. Alright, we got a call coming in, so we'll be back. So I think actually I just changed my mind. I'm gonna make this vlog in itself. So uh, make sure you guys stay tuned for the drop vlogs that I'll be dropping. We're doing our house to home, um, you know, taking our house to home journey. And not only that, but I wanted to just say that, you know, when you have kids, it's very important for you not to get lost in the luxury of social media in the luxury of other youtubers in the luxury of what you see people with right so i know like my house particularly like i said the family room is bright those are the colors
colors that Daddy Ellie loved. You know, we're Caribbean. We love those colors. But also, too, if you guys will watch a couple of the vlogs when I'm over at my mom's house, look at the walls. You know what I mean? So, when you have small kids, yes, train them or, you know, tame them or, you know, you need to be able to show them nice things, fine things. Yeah, but there's a lot of limitations. They're still kids. Lala's still a kid. She's still a child. Alexander's still a child. Alexander used markers, Alexander used pencils, and when he dropped them, who picks it up? Lala. And what's she gonna do with it? She gonna write over everything. She listen, our couch is a couple thousand dollars. Permanent marker on the couch. Like, you know, so just be mindful, like everything in life, there is steps to it. You know, our next house, our next location, you know. You know, we just work with what we have. We work with what we have and we're not jumping the gun. I want my house to be, you know, smell good, look good, feel good, but at the same time, it's my kid's house too. So I'm not about to put a whole bunch of glass in there or, you know, a whole bunch of non-kin friendly stuff just so that my kids can be segregated to one little corner of the house, you know? And don't touch this and don't touch that, you know. Listen, if Mommy Ellie gotta give you a pow pow, she will. So in order for me to prevent that, just make the house kid friendly. But we're super excited about this journey. We're gonna stop at two locations today. That's gonna be in another vlog. I'm gonna start that vlog right after I'm done with this one. But comment down below how you feel about you know the conversation that we just have. We're just sharing a little bit. We don't get to really sit down, you know, on a table and just really talk to you guys about who we are, where we're from who we are in, as individual people, who we are as a couple. Um, I look forward to doing those videos for you guys this year, definitely. We're gonna do some mukbangs. You know Daddy Ellie's a seafood head. <laughs> he loves seafood, but he don't want the shrimp and the tilapia. Right, babe? Yeah, actually, I'm planning to cut all the steak. All so. the shrimp, all the salmon, because it's, it's way too much, you know? It's not healthy. And, and then the thing is, and, not too convenient like, yeah but um if you follow things people say on social media you probably not like wake up one day and said i don't want to eat anything tonight because you know uh, they said the broccoli is not good they said that the um uh, this is not good that is not good yeah not good, blah, blah, and i say that to daddy Ellie so. all the time i said we're just gonna end up stop eating you know when he starts going into his ramp babe don't buy the lunchables Babe, but yeah, but don't the, those, buy this, like, don't buy that. It's like the, lunchables, those things, yeah, people shouldn't eat those things. I understand. Let's say like I went to get some beets uh, yesterday, the other day, but you can see that they have those mud in the beets. That means you see those were from, uh, uh, man made farm, from the farm and farm stuff grade. Like that. So farm that's, grade. that's great. And when you test that, it's two different things. You know, we from the Caribbean. My wife born in, in Wazi here. But I can tell you, uh, go to a, a food market, like a food market in here, and uh, go to one in, in Haiti to see the difference. It's a big difference. It's you, you come, when you go to a, a food market in Haiti, you confuse of the smell. The old cow smell make a boom and, and, and thing. But when you go to... A, uh, Half uh, those fruits don't have no food, smell. Like <laughs> you don't, you don't, you you might mistaken you you are on um, some kind of. I'm trying to, you know, your make your boy's fingers is always ashy. So I, that's why that's what happened when you're walking and stuff like that. So I know? try to put some Vaseline and he still ain't rub it in. It's so, so annoying. But yeah, guys. So yeah, we have a lot to talk about. We have a lot to share. Like I said, um, me personally, I'm not ashamed of what it is. It is what it is, and you know, we just making it happen. It's the real. It's no sugar coating. Um, it's it's just who we are. It's just you know our life, our journey, and I love it. I love every second of it. I love every minute of it. I see the growth, I feel the growth spiritually, mentally, physically. And um, yeah, so go ahead and comment down below, like, share, subscribe to the Ellie family. We're at our location. So we gonna see you in the next vlog.
okay we just gave you guys like a little update of what's going on and yeah we don't look our best because we we set goals for this week and we are making it happen okay so you already know if we lit you lit, you lit. Two. <laughs> bye For believing in me, I won't let y'all down. I know that I'll be busy. It's motivation to see how y'all look up to me. I'm really humble, can't believe it, but I'm grateful.